You know what I have not done for this specific bike anyway? I have not done a things I hate about the VTX. Did it with the Intruder. I thought I did one with the Magnum, but I might not have. So let's do one on this bike. Alright, for our first one, and you know what, I'm not going to number these, because <laughs> I've got no idea how many I've got. Should be ten, right? But fuck if I know. Firstly, the placement of the speedometer is down there. I need to look from up here to down there to see how fast I'm freaking going. That's goddamn annoying, and it, it takes your your focus away from where you ought to be looking, which is down the road. I think it's a stupid placement for a damn speedometer. I know a couple other bikes have got a tachometer here and then a speedometer up there on the tree, but nope, not the VTX. Secondly, or nextly, or whatever this turns out to be, the absence of... my nice stop, yo. The absence of a tachometer irks the hell out of me. <laughs> Two reasons, three reasons, I don't know, some reasons. When you go to set idle after you've gone through and cleaned up the bike or done any work at all on the bike, it's a pain in the ass to go by, well, it should sound like this. Okay, great, that's really super duper not fucking accurate. Give me a damn tack. How much could it possibly cost to have a tachometer on this bike? The other thing being, a, a, you know, a, a V-twin cruiser is they idle, they they tack out pretty damn quickly. Compared to the Magna, which you can run all the way up to 11,000 RPMs, this one's, I don't even know, maybe 6,000? I don't know, because fuck, it doesn't have a tack. It does have a rev limiter, but not like a sport bike rev limiter. You know, it just kind of sits at the same rev and doesn't go any higher, which, okay, I, I guess. It doesn't really bounce off of it, it just is. The next thing I don't like about this particular motorcycle is even though it has a speedometer, it is wildly inaccurate. This thing says I'm doing 45. I might be doing 40. It's probably closer to 38. It's, you know, off by a percentage. And when you get up to 60 miles an hour on the speedometer, ooh, look, let's see if this sign's on. Hold on, this is 45. 38. There you go. 37. It's wildly freaking inaccurate. I mean, my god, as you get up to 60, you're doing 50, and you feel like, why am I being passed by everybody? It doesn't make any sense. It's just, it's stupid as hell. There's no particular reason that a speedometer on a modern bike, and this is a 2005. Yeah, fuck it, you're going slow. should be 10% off. And it's not like, oh, I put the wrong size tires on it. Everybody reports the same damn thing. On all the forums and everywhere, it's like, yep, between seven and 10% off, it just is. It's just the nature of this bike. It shouldn't be that bad. My God, what the hell's wrong with you, Honda? Um, next fault, I guess I could find with it is the seat is really not all that comfortable. Now, I've been kind of spoiled from day one because I've got an air hog or air hawk seat that I transfer from another bike over to here. But good God, man, what does it take to manufacture a seat that doesn't kill your ass as stock? I mean, really, how hard is that? Why must that be such a, you know, a deal breaker when making a new motorcycle? I guess another complaint is, all right, it's a heavy bike. It's like 650 to 700 pounds when completely full of fuel and fluids and whatnot. And it's a 1300 cc, and everybody's impressed by that. Like, oh my God, it's a huge bike. No, actually, it's not. Comparatively speaking, this pitted against the Intruder. Uh, the Intruder is a better power to weight ratio than this thing is. I don't know why. It, this, this from the factory only has about 56 to 58 horsepower. 
And the intruder sits about 45, I think, something like that. But the intruder only weighs 450 pounds. So off the line, you can go a hell of a lot faster in the intruder than you can in this. It's, it's more comfortable. This is by far more comfortable on the highway than the intruder ever will be. But you think with a 1300cc engine, you get a little more uh, under the hood, as it were. And a big one. The front brake on this thing is just a joke. And But in, at the same time, so is the rear brake. And the combination of them will haul it down. But you'll be damn lucky if you don't lock that rear up in the process. It's kind of scary how much distance it takes to stop this bike. I can give this front lever 100% application. It will not lock up. It'll slow you down, hopefully, but I'm used, I got, uh, hello FedEx. I was spoiled by the Magnus brakes. It had dual discs in the front, and my God, that'll haul you down in a hurry. This thing, I've blown turns already because I just couldn't stop in time. Oh, look, I'm back here already. Maintenance wise, I don't know what they were thinking when they placed the components for the oil changes. I have yet to find a good method that does not end up with oil all over my damn garage floor. It's just, it's underneath the bike in a manner that makes it just really hard to get to. There's two drain plugs, there's a front drain plug, and then there's one that drains from underneath the bottom. But then you also have to contend with the oil filter which is butted up right against the auxiliary tank for the coolant, making it almost fucking impossible to get a wrench up there, an oil wrench, to turn the damn thing. <laughs> like, if you wanted one of those K&N filters with a nifty little bolt already built into it, that ain't happening, because it's too fucking long. Annoying. It, it just, it's irksome. But I suppose that's really about it. I mean... It, it's a cruiser. It's a, a wallowing big old cruiser bike that is meant to get you down the highways and the byways, and it does that. It's more comfortable than the Magna was. I like the seating position where my feet are more out in front. But it's uh, it's not going to get you there in any particular damn hurry. But that's not its job. So I guess until the next time, Internet... I do recommend this bike, but I sure wish I had had the bigger brother version of it. So, later days.